everybody welcome back so uh, we've made some changes since the last episode all the mechs are back we're gonna go right into the mech bay and check out what we've done here so my plan of making the trebuchet melee mech is still going to happen problem is those we don't really have enough gear to make this work properly so I've left it kind of for now I've took the stuff out of it that I wanted to take out um, I put a mask in left a few things just as it is for now um, We've only got one melee fist that we can use, like a spiked fist, and that's it. So we're going to try and find some melee gear. But let's have a look at the other mechs. Uh, the Talos stayed the same. We're going to have a look at the Jenner. I think it turned out really, really well. Um, kind of shocked at how well this thing turned out. Now, we do need some components for the head. That's what we do need, some cockpit stuff. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty well. So I added a couple double heat sinks. Uh, left the core at 245. Uh, added the XL gyro in here and the heavy ferro to give us some more space and room. Got a pair of medium medium X uh, bleh, bleh, medium X pulses which we brought from the uh, Locust and added a pair of regular medium lasers as well and left the Guardian ECM in. Uh, cockpit we added a uh, clan cockpit for extra gunnery to make these lasers hit a little better and a standard fire control system just to give it a little bit of extra chance to hit. Not much but a little bit extra. Um, this is what I mean about needing more cockpit stuff. We need better sensors and stuff, so we'll have to work on getting those. Uh, this mech, I think, is going to work really, really well for Witness. So I maxed out all of the armor, too. It's a little bit off the back, but I maxed it out, so it's it's um, going to be in pretty good shape here. So that's that one. And let's have a look at the adder. The adder didn't quite turn out like I was hoping it would turn out. Um, for some reason, I thought we had an extra flamer. We didn't. So it is what it is. So let's have a look at it. It's going to be what it's going to be. So um, we did add the four flamers from the Jenner in here. Once this thing pops in. So the four flamers from the Jenner went in this side. The clan double heat sink that we needed, I put it in here. Got a mask on it and three jump jets. Uh, so we have a total of five flamers, which is, which is pretty good for overheating. And then I was able to stick a, the tag barrage from the trebuchet in here. Because this guy is our overheater, it's better to have the barrage on this guy. An LRM-10 with ha uh, half a ton, so six turns of firing of dead fire ammo. Because we're going to be in close anyway. And we got six turns of firing of uh, LRM incendiary ammo. If I can find some um, hydra ammo for this, I have a ton of hydra, we'll definitely swap that around. But this will give us a little bit of extra heating potential. And then because this mech um, is heating up pretty quickly, and I had a little bit of space left over, I dropped our two medium chem lasers that we originally had in Talos in here because they're like heat six, right? For the same damage, same range as a medium laser, and a full ton of ammo. So we got 15 turns of firing for these guys. So that's going to add a little bit of extra oomph to this thing. Uh, the heat is flush. Heat efficiency is flush. So if we're not jumping around, we're pretty good. If we're not using the mask, we're pretty good. So once we get in close, this thing should work pretty well. The armor is maxed out, so, you know, with a little bit off the back but and a little bit off the legs, but not much. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping this thing works out really well. We'll see how it, do, how it does for GV. Now, between um, the last episode and this one, we had an event where GV was offered uh, to... Um, have a place in the Grey Death Legion. He did turn it down and did stay with us, so that's great. We gave him the option to take it if he wanted, and he decided to stay with us, which is good. So let's have a look here at the Shadow Cat. Now, this was the replacement for the uh, Trebuchet. Now, it is five tons lighter, but it is an Omnimax, so we do have a bit of extra weight in it, but it does have permanent jump jets and stuff, so it's not much I can do about this. Mask makes it quick. We did put the, the two Risk MML 10s in here and a pair of medium heavy lasers. Now, we can't fire both of these. As you can see, our heat efficiency is garbage if we do. Um, but the idea is that when the uh, MMLs, one of them jams, we can most likely fire both medium heavies if we have to. Um, so, yeah, that's the idea. But the, anyway, this guy's going to be the MML boat anyway. So we've rounded this out with a little bit of a different loadout than we had before. Took out the standard LRM ammo uh, and the standard SRM ammo. So we do have the, uh, or sorry, we do have the, uh, sorry, the same SRM loadout. Uh, but we took the SRM dead fire from the Jenner and put it in here. So we have really, really good, close, hard-hitting 
uh, potential damage if we want to. Long range, we do have uh, half a ton of LRM Artemis ammo that we can use. Um, it's only three turns of firing, but it's definitely worth it. And we have the Hydra in here as well, which we can use. Uh, so we can add to overheating if we need to. The Definitely we'll be using the Inferno. And because this guy is so fast, he's got a 270 core. Um, we have a Guardian ECM on here in the Artemis. But because he's so fast, um, we're going to be using mostly SRMs on the MMLs. Uh, so these are just, you know, backups just in case. And now we only have one thing of case, so I dropped it in here. This is really the mech that needs it the absolute most. So I did drop case in here. Uh, now we don't have case two yet. Hopefully to get that soon, but, you know, that's kind of where we're at. So, um, yeah, that's our lances right now. Uh, so unfortunately, Dust Raker uh, will not be joining us today because we don't have a mech for him. Oh yeah, this mech also has maxed out armor. So let's go to the command center. I'm going to go right up to here, Birds of Prey. I was going to do the Vanguard at two and a half skulls, but because I don't know how our new lance is really going to function, we're going to do Birds of Prey first. They're both defend base missions. Um, most likely this one would be fine. It's the jungle one where I think we start off up on top of the hill, most likely. Uh, it would probably be fine, but I don't think the, or the lance we has, have is made really to defend that. This one's in the highlands. It's probably going to be a little bit better uh, for where our lance is set up. But we'll see how that goes. So we're going to take Birds of Prey today. Going to go full salvage. Let's do this. Maybe we can get ourselves a uh, urban mech part. So the Jenner is going down here to witness. And the Shadow Cat. There we go. And Adder. So we're going to go this route. Let's see how we do. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the standard map for this. We are ready for this sucker. Looks like we got a lot of choppers on our side, which I think is going to be really slow. So before we even start... Yeah, I know. I think before we start, I am going to restart this because uh, having this many helicopters on our side... I mean, we got good defenders. We would probably have no... Uh, we'd probably just sit here and let these guys fight, but it is going to take forever with this many choppers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, seven, eight. So I'm going to reload this because I don't think you guys want to set... Maybe nine choppers. I don't think you guys want to sit through the amount of... Um, ridiculousness. So we're going to go ahead and just restart the mission. Alright, here we go. Well, that's not any better. Well, this is the VTOL factory, so I mean... Okay, well, it looks like we're missing... Um, we're missing the extra lance that we had down here. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So what do we got here? These guys are all the same, eh? Balix? Yellow Jacket? That's a Balak. So, yeah. All right, well, you know what? We'll play. See how these choppers go. If, it, if it's painful, we'll switch up to the other mission. All right, let's see what we can do here. What can I, do for you? I need you to get up here, please. We need to find them bastages before they uh, find us. It's nice that he's still in a fast mech. Alright, Nightshade. That wasn't too bad. There we go. Vitoles preparing to engage the enemy. Alright, GV, let's see how fast this thing is. 
Yeah, man, that's pretty quick. I am the wind. You are. And I'm the winded. And the Talos, the moving so damn slow. Okay, still quiet. Ah, uh, Farazan. I'm gonna get right down the road here. Still nothing. That's fine. This shadow cat should be super fast. What do you need? Now we do. We did drop ourselves. Yeah, that's actually pretty quick. Way better than the trebuchet. We did drop ourselves right, down in damage potential. We lost the X pulse and a medium laser, but we did ga gain a medium heavy. So, I mean, we lost a little bit of damage potential from this thing, but I think the uh, the new mix of, of uh, ammunition should make up for that. Now, we don't have turrets, so it's really just the choppers that are defending this base. So hopefully once they spot the enemy, Shadowhawk, okay. That's actually good. It's good for us. 1R, okay. I was actually thinking though, as I was reloading, you know, one possibility is to turn the um, to turn the Talos into a melee mech. Now I know it's not the best melee mech, um, but we free up the um, trebuchet as a laser firing platform because it does have the three laser slots in the one arm and one in the other arm. So we can make turn that into a laser firing firing platform and then use the Talos. We can put rocket launchers in it and melee weapons and have it close with the enemy. Now it doesn't the engine's not so great. We have to beef the engine up a bit. Um, and get a mask in there, I think. But I think that might work too. That's another possibility. The thing is is the Talos has got those two rocket launchers in it already that are just kind of hardwired. So if we add it like we do have two rocket launcher 20s, two rocket launcher 10s, and a pair of rocket pack 5s still, which we could just jam in this sucker and then put melee weapons on the arms, maybe a couple of lasers or something. So that's a possibility. Just gets in close and just unloads with just rockets just to, sh just to shred somebody. Especially if you couldn't melee one turn, you could just shred them with rockets and then melee the next turn. So this might get to be too painful. We'll find out here, hopefully, really quickly. Okay, it's the next turn. What I'll probably do is I'm just going to stay quiet for a lot of this. Um, and then I'll just chop it out. See the action, but, you know, all the sitting and waiting for these choppers, I'll just hack most of it out. Um, the end of that last turn, they just all kind of sat there and did not nothing really. So um, that's what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just chop out all the dead space. Okay, witness. I hear you. Still don't know where what we're dealing with here. I mean, we could Shadowhawk's not that tough. We could kind of just like roll over them. Well, not do it from the front though. If we can get side shots, it's better. But moving in here is just. just going to cause problems. That's not too bad. That's perfect range too. Alright, let's move up. Pedal to the metal. See what we're dealing with here. A Jed, Shadowhawk, Firestarter. Okay, not so bad. Got side shots on this guy. We're going to take him. Okay, two hits. Not bad. Okay, arc light. Yeah. So I mentioned before I was planning on putting the tag barrage on the um, the Jenner, uh, but what I forgot was that the Jenner doesn't have any um, support hard points, so we couldn't do that. Bugging out. Bugging out. Unfortunately. So that's that's why there's no uh, tag barrage on this sucker. Okay, we're gonna switch these guys up. Uh, let's get in some Artemis. Well, what's the dead fire chance? Really, really low. Let's get the Artemis on this guy. One... Yeah, at this low percentage chance, we're just going to fire one medium heavy. 
All right, not bad. Okay, Firestarter OD moving up. Now, do we have parts of the Firestarter OD? Or is it a regular Firestarter? I know I said this before. It was like, oh, yeah, no, we've got parts of Firestarter. But I can't remember if it was the OD or the other version. I don't want to get close because these friggin' uh, how far are we up for jump for this guy? That's actually not bad. Um, actually, you know what? Let's get into here. Let's get this off early. Um, because these mechs that are here really aren't affected too much by fire. Let's do this. It's mostly to attack this vehicle. I was hoping to get a kill on it, but... Nah. Eh, not quite. Good damage to the turret, though. Well, it's just a pot shot away from death. Hopefully w one of our uh, choppers will take care of that. Okay, there's that vehicle moving. The G. Edgar. Now, I want to see if we can claim that guy. Uh, I'm going to put myself between... Yon uh, fire starter. Is there only? There's got to be four guys here. All right, let's do the multi uh, target. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for it in the wrong spot. All right, <laughs> you. Come on, there we go. All right, so let's turn these off for now. I don't know what we're going to be facing in the future. So A and B. Maybe we get lucky with a pot shot to the top of the. The uh, J. Edgar. Ah, really? Well, two hits, but not good enough. Should have used the Baraji on him. Oh well. At least I'm blocking the road for this fire starter. Alright, enemy turn. Who do we got going? Oh, the uh, Shadowhawk, probably? What are we on? 13? Yeah. Now, there's got to be somebody else back there. I don't know who it would be, though. Either a slow-ass vehicle. But I don't know what that would be. Hopefully an urban mech. Alright, so... Looks like our choppers have repositioned slightly, but they haven't done any attacking. I'm ready. Um, not that I actually care, but, you know. Uh, do we want to go after this guy? See if we can... Go this right on him? Sure. Firing. Yeah, he's not going to matter, but... And just back it up. These three guys are in a good position to support this side here. Alright, witness. Commander? Let's hammer this guy. Firing. All are go. Beautiful. Critical hit, Commander. You got that right. Alright, move down into here. Moving to position. Now the question is, do we kill that vehicle? Or the Shadowhawk? Shadowhawk's lost his AC5. So I believe he's just got an SRM-2 and medium laser left, and an LRM-5. That's right, right, Shadowhawk? SRM-2, LRM-5, AC-5, and a medium laser, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, looks like it's the uh, Firestarter's turn to move here. Most of our choppers aren't doing a damn thing, they're just sitting there. They are just sitting there, or they're flying over this way. I'm not exactly sure why they're going that way, but whatever. Let them go. Yep. All right, Arclight. Uh, let's see if we can punish both of these guys. We're going to move first. Can we get a? We can get a shot on both. So we're going to do this. Got it. So we're not getting any help. I'm going to do multiple targeting. You and you. Now, let's put...
Oof, really, eh? Oh, it's dead fire, that's why. Let's go this route. See if we can get both of these guys. Well, how much armor has he got in the back? A fair bit. Yeah, let's just fire. Multiple targets confirmed. Okay, we got one hit on there. Yeah, I got the turret. Beautiful. I was hoping we'd get that. Okay, Shadowhawk is trying to move forward, and he is bracing. So he's pretty much committing suicide here. Oh, it's a poo tank. I was wondering what else we had back here. This guy was so far away, 60 ton po. Alright, let's see if we can take out... Well, we could leave the fire starter. Or... Not. He looks like he's just braced himself here. Um... What do we want to do? We gotta start moving back because we're gonna get reinforcements here in a second. So let's pull back a bit. And then let's just go. That's some pretty good range. Let's switch this to dead fire. I mean we could try and shred him with all the rockets. What's he got here? Ooh, okay. Um He's taking a headshot, eh? Want a barrage? Now let's save the barrage for the reinforcements. Let's just go after this. Uh, tell you what, let's shred them. Beautiful. Alright. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Ooh, Emperor. Emperor's new clothes. Now what? Is this a heavy mech? 1504. Yeah, it's got to be a heavy mech. 60 tons, you think? Or is it a 50? No, it's got to be heavier than that. A Clint? What's this guy? Is that a second Clint? It is. Double Clint's. 2R P2 and a 2R. Now there should be a dropship over here on the other side, shouldn't there? Oh god. Well we know what we gotta kill. Oh man, okay. Uh Shouldn't there have been a dropship over here? Um, I'm kind of confused here. Maybe it is only one wave of reinforcements? Good to go. Let's, um... Let's engage the Shadowhawk here. All right, firing. firing everything I've got. There goes his leg. <clears throat> Critical hit, Commander. Head hit. Health one of three, beautiful. Yeah, thanks for coming back, guys. All right, GV, uh, where are you here? Ready for order. Let's focus on getting rid of this guy. Now, 4.8%, uh, huh? I'm gonna leave that off because I don't want to completely blow him up. Ammo explosion. <clears throat> oh, that's good. So it was only left torso that went, it looked like. Yeah, I thought for sure there would have been a dropship on this side, but I guess not. 
Okay, so a couple of choppers are fired. This thing's 90 tons. That's not good. That is not good at all. Um, so we're just going to move over here, switch this to standard. Now, I don't want that 90 tonner shooting at me. Wait, what? I can't use the LRMs on these guys? There we go. 0.9, eh, on everything, it looks like. Sure. Can't win them all. Well, the copters seem to be targeting the Emperor. Let's get into the trees, just in case, but let's take out this lone Clint over here. We can. Let's get the dead fire up. Uh, wow, that's really no chances to hit. Let's go with the better chances to hit. Alright, so we've got three of us to go now. This Poe moved up a little bit. I have no idea what he's got. Doesn't got a lot of armor though, it looks like. So let's get... Waiting for orders. See, I want to flank attack these vehicles. I don't want to push... God, that's a terrible chance to hit. I don't want to push them from the side. I want to come around behind them. Um, Yeah, what do we do here? Flames on the way no matter what we do here. Alright, let's get into here. Gonna go after this Poe. Can't have him at our back when we're flanking here. So let's go after him. Good chances to hit. Let's get the dead fire up. Yeah, we're hot. Uh, let's leave one of these guys off. Firing. Okay, stripped away some good armor there. This is 60 tons, remember. Alright, witness. Same idea. Um, Moving fast. Okay. Okay, better chances on this guy firing. Alpha okay, two hits, nice. Flames on the way, huh? Let's just jump over them. Get right into here. And let's leave this one off for now, but let's... Um, dead fire is really low. Let's go with this Artemis. Ah, still not enough. Good damage, though. We should be able to finish him up next turn. Okay, Poe's moving up. Looks like he's going to try for a back attack. Getting a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Man, I tell you, our choppers have done nothing this battle. A couple of pot shots here or there, but that was it. Now, I'm going to vigilance this. And my reason for it is I'm going to about to attack all of these guys and I want to hopefully be able to go before them next turn now um, what do we got what's their best chance to hit here well it's all garbage not bad against the Poe though 
emperor's garbage. So All right, let's do this this turn. See if we can get rid of this guy. Most likely not, but we'll do a little bit of damage hopefully. Okay, good shot. Beautiful. We hit our own guy too, I think. Who do we hit though? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we hit, uh, what's her name? Arclight. But not for much. I think it was just one or two missiles hit. Yeah, I thought so. Hopefully next turn we'll have a better chance of hitting these guys. That Emperor is dangerous. I know it was hard for us to hit them, but it was also harder um, hard for them to hit us too, so. Heliopolis has disappeared. It's still back there. Now it fired against some of the uh, clan choppers last time. Looks like it's doing the same. Couple of misses. At least we can see it. Looks like the their clints are rotating. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bum rush those clints. Okay, witness. Here we go. Next turn. Looks like that. Um, looks like that uh, didn't give us much. Sorry. <laughs> The Vigilance didn't give us much uh, initiative bonus there. Uh, so I remember uh, just taking forever for these turns to happen now. Let's, I know it's got, we got flames on the way here, but we got to get over here. Um, let's get into play. That's a lot of heat. Not a very good chance to hit either. Uh, let's just can we go with just still too much eh? just turn off one X pulse fire the rest all right nice two hits take it all right choppers moving away again uh. okay well here we go Good enough for me. Let's do this. Let's target the main guy now. Two AC5s and three medium lasers on an Emperor. Here it comes. So my guess is that's like a 90-10 piece of junk. Heliop Heliop Heliopolis is probably like a 75 piece of 75 ton piece of junk, so. Okay, Clint's moving in. Getting a little bit of chem fire. He's decided he's not going to shoot at anybody. All right, let's get in here. Let's get in here. Inferno? Probably. Let's go with both heavies though, see if we can get a hit on them. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, we got one hit, nice. Keeping that sucker nice and toasty. Gotta hope for an ammo hit too though, maybe we blow them up. Now this is really not giving us any kind of good salvage unfortunately. I mean, yeah, the 90-ton uh, Emperor and the 75-ton Heliop Heliopolis, whatever. But how often are we going to see these guys at this at this level? So, it's really hoping for some good components. Okay, Chopper's trying to do something. Trying to do something. All right, this guy's up for for targeting again. Here it comes. Uh, where'd the barrage go? Oh, well, a little a little far back, I guess. Get into here. 
Where did it go? Yeah, nowhere. Nowhere good. Okay, witness. Good to go. Now, question is... I think we just shoot from here. What do we got here? Oh yeah, we could get him. Okay, some good hits. Critical hit, Commander. Good hits. Let's get over here. Is there a place we can go where that... Yeah, beautiful. Just like that. We don't want the uh, Helopolis to have a direct line of sight on us. Alrighty. Aye, aye. So let's go after... Emperor's new clothes again? Or do we want to wreck this Clint? This guy hasn't been doing anything in Helopolis. So let's go after this guy. Let's go with some dead fire. Let's get some work down here. Oh yeah. Ammo explosion. I'm fine with you overheating. Watch those heat levels. Yeah, you're just over by a sliver. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Next turn we'll leave one of those uh, medium improved heavies off. Or medium heavies. Heavy mediums. Okay, GV. Standing by. Let's uh, hammer this Clint. Oh, there's a kill for you. Oh, we got an AC-10, eh? Come on. Alright, whatever. Whatever. You want to let me move them? I'll jump them. Battle's almost over anyway. Oh, you're coming back, are you? Oh, ouch. Warning. Armor low. Hey, how'd you see me? How much damage did I take here? That's a fair bit of damage. It's a chance to hit this guy. Actually not bad. A little bit better with standard, but I think we want to go dead fire. Um Yeah. Engaging target. Oh that was terrible. That was awful! Well, is flames on the way? Really? Doesn't matter where I go here. As long as I'm in the trees, get some get some defense. I'm gonna have to rush this guy next turn, I think. All right, GB. Waiting for orders. How far can you go here? Well, there's no flames there. All right, let's multi-target this. Shoot you. Shoot you. Unleash hell! Multiple enemies locked in. All right, a bit of damage on him. A little bit of damage on him.
Well, Nightshade's decided to take a move up right here beside the uh, Helopolis. I wonder if he's carrying suspicious cargo. Nope. That's the first offensive move I've seen by, by these uh, choppers for the whole match. Now, question. Is this chopper... No, I thought he was on top of this guy, but he's not. He is. Right on top of him. That's bizarre as hell. All right, well, let's go for it. Yeah, not bad. I might get the kill on this guy. I think I would rather shoot this guy. Alpha All right, one hit, not bad. We'll take the one hit. Okay, Arclight, I want to get you in Hydra range. Uh, here? Flames on the way, we can't do that. Okay, let's do this. Do this. Do that. That. Actually, just multi target this. Gonna go this route. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, I didn't expect those hits. Scored a critical hit. Nicely done. That's a pretty lousy chance to hit. Well, that's a kill right there. Let's take it. Enemy mech destroyed. And then let's try and move away from everybody else. Come on. Give me the ability to move. You know you want to let me go. Ah, screw it. Stay there. I can't wait. Well, now that the enemy's down to one mech, they're really starting to move forward and push the attack. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, we did okay. Could have been way worse than that. Alright, GB. Uh, let's get a little closer. Don't be shy. Right, Commander. Okay. Let's hammer this guy. Just gonna hit him. All weapons are go. All right, couple hits. It's hoping for three there, but we got two, so I'll take it. Okay, GB. Let's see if we can finish this up this turn. Really, huh?
No point where we can get in to use the flamers, huh? Oh, right here. Here we go. Just before the fire. Nice. Hit him with everything. Oh, nicely done. I'm out of LRM. Yeah, it's fine. We got others. Okay, Arc Light. Let's see if we can finish this up. Yeah, we've only got one dead fire going, or one uh, MML going here. Let's, uh... Yep, let's go this route. Alright, good damage. Okay. This is like totally bunching up. Oof. It's a little better from here. Okay. Well. We do what we do just to survive. I'm going to go overheat here. Well, a big one hit. That's nice. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Ooh. Finally, they're unleashing some hell on these guys. Well, let's see what he does. He's going to run. Hellstorm Artillery times four unjammed. Go for some side shots where I know he's damaged. I think he's still got significant armor in the back, but side's pretty hurt here. Alright, here comes. Upper leg destroyed. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. Ugh. That's a lot better. Let's get into here. Alright, let's hit him. LRM in center. You can leave the barrage off. Whoa, man, really? Alright, let's turn one of these off. And, oh, let's actually turn the center torso flamer off. Okay, firing. Okay, so he had a lot of things that got wrecked on him there. Can we get over here? Oh, we can. Beautiful. Understood. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can take... Well, I might be able to take his head. Let's go for the leg, though. Uh, yep. Yeah, you did. Alright, Chopper doing a bit of damage. Three crits, but not a kill. That's bizarre. Okay, we got a shot on him here. Gonna be overheating, but that's fine. Got to leave that off. Uh, didn't do very much damage to the leg here. 
Let's just go this way. All right, well, he's panicking. Well, he's getting up. I was kind of hoping that the uh, copters would have at least... Uh... Jesus, he was pissed. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yep. Oh, we didn't get him? Mission successful. Well, we tried. Well, contract and pay... Sorry, contract payment increased by 40%, which is nice. 409,000. That definitely cover any damages that we took. Not a lot. Good XP, though, on that one. That's nice. Not a lot of kills. They didn't have a lot of stuff, so... Alright, so we can go with the OG Firestarter. Or OD, sorry. Take those. Now, we do have Clint pieces. What else do we have? AC-10 Defiance. That's 60 tons, so AC-5... Don't have any ammo though. Long fire LRM. Plus 80 range, eh? To all range brackets. Uh ooh, Magna Laser. 23 damage. Rocket 15. Com suite is a is a cockpit. We need a uh, crap. Fire control system ballistic. Let's take that. That's something we can use in the future. Omnipod lower arm. Is that from the uh, fire starter? Oh, another spiked fist. Uh. Let's lose that. We are trying to build a melee max, so let's go with the spike fist. Where are you here? Let's go with that. That'll give us two of these. So plus 10 additional melee damage, plus 40% melee damage. That's with two of them. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. Okay, we got a Clint part. Uh, another fire starter part, Shadow Hawk part, light rifle, LRM long fire, beautiful. Ooh, double 15 uh, rockets. That's nice too. We've already got one of these, but it's nice to have another one. Oh, we got the ballistic fire con uh, fire control system. Awesome. So we made out really well out of this. Okay, 41,000. Yeah, it was a Helopolis that did that to us, pretty much. Okay, let's have a look at the OG here. Uh, where are you at? Mech Bay. Interested to see what's on that. Um, storage, medium. Where are you here? OD. I keep calling it the OG, but OD. That's fine. It's ready, this guy. That mech you wanted is back online. ERP PC LRM for a oh, while. Wow, that looks pretty cool. See what he's got here. Huh, interesting. Is this an Omni? It is. That's bizarre. But sure, man, I ain't gonna say no. Uh, this could be our melee mech. 40, well, maybe not. 50 tons is probably better, but it is fast, and it would be easy to fix. Let's max out the armor. Um, but we don't have full arms with this guy. So I'm wondering if we use this as a proper fire starter. Let's hold off on that for now. If we use this as a proper fire starter, change the adder over to this guy and then take the Jenner out of service and move the Jenner stuff into the adder. That's probably the best way to do it. Let's pull this out for now. Uh, yeah. Although this is a regular XL engine. 
It's not a clan XL, I don't think. Which could be a huge problem. We have to be very, very careful with this guy. All right, well, let's just get it fixed. 275,000, let's just confirm it. We got the money. And most likely what I'll do is I'll jump systems. I'll see if I'm gonna switch stuff over or not. I mean, we might make this the fire starter mech and turn the adder into the fast scout, pulling the stuff out of the Jenner and moving it into the adder and dropping the Jenner out of the lineup. I think that's probably the best way to go and then work on making this guy a good melee mech. But yeah, I think we'll I think we'll go that route, but I'll have to just see between episodes. I don't know what our Seville situation is going to be like. We are coming up on a uh, financial report, so we're not going to have a lot of money to work with. We're going to have to find a good place where we can pull off a lot of missions. There's like probably a couple left here, but I think it's better. we're better off jumping and finding a planet with a full number of missions because it's going to take a while before we get everything back up in the lineup here. Let's bring that up. Talos. So it's eight days for repair. Yeah, we can jump and find a planet and get everything, like all the mechs, back up and running. So that's probably what we'll do. All right, but I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. It was painful for me to record because of the, all the breaks, but I, like I said, I'm going to be, I would have been edited all for you guys, so it would just be the action back-to-back, -back, all right? All right, so uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.